In the last video you installed and adapted the VPN bridge. In this video we'll show how to establish connection between the Cprotect digital twin and a physical device. We have chosen for this application the communication with a CCAM at 8000 via IEC 61850. Before you start with the test, please make sure to adapt the IP address of your Ethernet card to the existing IP address of the network. Afterwards you can connect the bridge by clicking on Connect. Now click on Manage Virtual Hub. Under Manage Cascade Connections, you can select the connection we created and then click the button Online. Now the connection is established. In case the connection cannot be established here are some troubleshooting tips. If you get the error, number one, it means the simulation in Digital Twin has not been initiated yet. If you get the error number nine, it means the password that you have configured in the bridge doesn't correspond with the password used by the Digital Twin connection. Let's start with our application example. I have configured a CP8031 to communicate with our 7SX85 device simulated in the digital twin. Here in the IEC 61850 editor, we can see the access point with the corresponding device and IP address. And if we go to signals, we can see the list of signals which have been already imported into the CP8031 configuration. I'm opening now, side-by-side, -side, Digital Twin and the web user interface of the Seacom A8000. Both are ready and running. So, what's missing is the activation of the VPN bridge. For that, we go to the VPN Server Manager, open the connection by clicking on Manage Virtual Hub and then on Manage Cascade Connections. Click on our connection and select Online. It can happen that you sometimes use the Ethernet connection of your computer with the interface directly attached to the PC and sometimes using, for example, a port of the docking station. If that's the case, it's a good idea to create an additional local bridge under Local Bridge Settings. In that way, you will have two bridge connections operating and available. Next, we go to Manage Virtual Hub, Manage Cascade Connections, and select the connection and click Online. If everything runs smoothly, the connection shall be established. Back to the Seacom A8000 user interface, we can see that the red LED has disappeared, meaning that the communication is up and the Seacom A8000 is receiving information from the simulated device in Digital Twin. In the Relays display, we see several disconnectors and circuit breakers. And those are also configured here in the web interface of the Seacom A8000. We can force those switching devices to a specific position and validate the change in the A8000. Let's use the circuit breaker of the high voltage side of the transformer, Q0, as example. We set the binary inputs of the relay and inject values. The status is updated in the device. And we also see it is updated in the Seacom A8000. We can force it to open. We see it here in the display. And if we go to the Seacom A8000, we see the same information. We can also check measurements. Here we have the analog values corresponding to the high voltage side and the analog values of the medium voltage side of the transformer. Any change is automatically updated in the display of the 7SX85 and in the Seacom A8002. As next we can test a control command. We can try to release a close command from the Seacom A8000 to the circuit breaker. But as you see here, we have our selector in local, which means that the order shouldn't proceed. But we try it any case. Checking the event list, we find the information that the command was activated, but the confirmation is negative. And if we check also in the logs of the protection device, we see the same information. What we do next is, we set our device to remote. For that we go to control, switching authority and do the change. Now the control mode has been set to remote. And as you can see, it has been updated in the event list and it should be visible here in the corresponding box. Let's send a command. For example, to the disconnector too. As the normal feedback for a disconnector goes to some seconds, we can send an open request and really fast change the position by forcing the corresponding binary input to get the positive feedback in the RTU. Let's do it. So now it is open in the display and in the user interface of the Seacom A8000. And if we go to the event list, we find the activation of the command in the open position and the positive feedback. 
So as you see, we can get connection to physical devices and test communication through different protocols thanks to the VPN bridge.